Welcome to part two of our series on animating gradient behind text. Today we're working in After Effects. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to animate a gradient behind text in After Effects. So if you haven't already done so, be sure to watch part one of this series where we show you how to create all of these source assets in Photoshop. Now, if you don't wanna worry about Photoshop, you just wanna download everything and get started here in After Effects, you can do that on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. You'll get access to the PNGs that we use in this tutorial so you can follow along here in After Effects. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump in After Effects. Now, this is, in my opinion, just such a great program for animation. It makes it very easy for you. Now, we're just gonna start with the very basics. So even if you've never used After Effects before, you are gonna be able to follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing I wanna do here in After Effects, we're just gonna go ahead and click on a new project, okay? And your window might look a little bit different than mine. If it does, simply go to Window, down to Workspace, and choose All Panels. There we go. Now, the first thing we need to do is get our source images, the PNGs that we made in Photoshop, into After Effects. I need these here in my project. So, if you haven't already done so, you can download these sample PNGs on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. Let's go ahead and just click on our PNGs. There we go. And we're just gonna put them right into our project window. And here we go. Now what we need to do is actually get these into our timeline so we can start our animation. So we have our project files, just two PNGs. We're gonna click and drag those down here into our timeline. And this is going to prompt After Effects to automatically start a new composition. So we're gonna use simple composition, sounds good. We're gonna use the dimensions here from our images, and this is gonna be 1080 by 1080, okay? And everything else looks great. So let's go ahead and hit okay there. And here we can see we've got a, a visual display of our PNGs. So at this point, you can see here in your timeline, we're similar to layers in Photoshop, by the way. Whatever's on the top is what you're gonna see first. So let's go ahead and take our text and put it right above our gradient. And here we can see it's looking really good. Now let's go ahead and stay organized. We just wanna make sure now that we've got our source images and we've got our comp, I just wanna go ahead and put those into folders. So we're gonna right click here in our project window, go to new folder, okay? And we're just gonna call this source. There we go. Let's go ahead and control commit controller command, click and drag those in there. And then we're gonna just call this comps. There we go. And our animated text gradient, this is our comp. So you wanna kind of think about your comps as like different scenes and then your source, these are different assets that you're going to use for your scene. So as of now, we're set up, it looks great. If I go ahead and click on my comp, we're gonna right click and go to composition settings. I just wanna make sure, yep, my width and my height are both set to 1080 and my frame rate is set to 29.9 seconds. So this looks really good. Now here we can choose the duration of our animation as well. And in this case, it's two seconds. So now we're all set up. It's time for the fun part, animating our sequence. Now this is gonna be really cool because the text, we don't have to animate that at all. It just stays in the same place. The gradient behind the text is what we're gonna animate and we're just gonna apply a rotation to that. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Here we are in our timeline. Let's go to our gradient. I'm gonna go ahead and click down this little icon here and we can see our transform properties. So we can things, see things like position and scale and rotation and opacity. Now in this case, we're just gonna work on our rotation. So we're gonna create what's known as keyframes in animation. Basically a keyframe will allow you to set a property here and then one later down your timeline and then After Effects figures out what needs to happen in between those transitions. So if you had your thing rotated like this at the start and like this at the end, After Effects would automatically get there for you. It'll just kind of rotate it back to that position. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with that. I'm just gonna click here where it says rotation. By the way, you can click on R to just see rotation if you'd like. And we're gonna click on our stopwatch. That's gonna add a keyframe. Here you can see it at the very bottom, just this little blue icon. So we've made our first keyframe. Now this acts as the starting position for our gradient layer. And right now it's got zero degrees of rotation. So now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the end of my timeline and I wanna create another keyframe. This time I'm gonna rotate it 360 degrees. Now this is super cool because it's automatically gonna calculate from zero to 360 degrees. It's gonna go all the way back around and then guess where it's at? 
it's basically at the same position as the starting position. So if we play this in a loop, it's just gonna look like it's going around and around and around. So it's very easy to do. So here we go, we're at the very beginning of our timeline. Just use this little blue icon here at the top to move through your timeline. So at the beginning, we can see our rotation is at zero degrees, okay? Now, if we go all the way to the end, boop, just click and drag this to the end of your timeline here. We're gonna click right here, which is going to add another keyframe. Fantastic. Now, here we can see a couple of numbers. This time, this first one is how many times it's gonna rotate, and this is your degrees. So I'm just gonna type in 360 and hit enter. Okay, now, as I scroll back through this, you can see my gradient behind my text is animating at 360 degrees. It's just rotating 360 degrees. I can just click on this little eyeball for the text to make that invisible so we can see this is what's happening for our gradient right behind our text. Now, if you wanted to make this a little bit bigger, you could do that as well very easily. You can just click on your layer and hit S for scale, or you can just simply click on this little drop down box, and here you have options for scale. Now, if you needed to scale it up, like if it was cutting off where part of your text is, that's totally okay. But if I turn my text on, we can see because my text is centered here, it actually does not need to, uh, it, we don't need to scale that at all. So we just have a rotation. Now, all you have to do is hit play to view your animation. In this case, it's setting everything up. And here we can see, let's go ahead and zoom in. And here we can see my gradient is in fact rotating 360 degrees. <laughs> Isn't that incredibly cool? Now, if you want this to go a little bit faster, I'm just gonna click on the space bar here. We'll go back to our beginning. Let's take a look at our numbers here. Again, I'm just gonna hit R so we only see our rotation. Let's take a look at our numbers. As I scroll this down, here you can see the actual value for your uh, rotation is moving. So it's gonna keep on going, keep on going, get all the way up to 360. And then when it gets here, look at this. It goes one uh, plus 0, 0.0. So that basically tells us we have one full rotation. Okay, so that's super cool because if I want to, I can just type in a different number where it says one. So let's go to the end there, okay? And here, instead of one, there we go, I'm just gonna type in three and hit enter. So now, if I scroll back through my timeline, we're gonna get three complete revolutions of our background during this two seconds, okay? So let's go ahead and hit play, and here we can see we have our rotation now. And that might be a little bit too disco for me, so let's just go back here, and then instead of three, we'll just type in two. All right, hit spacebar, and there we can see. So at this point, let's go ahead and just bring this down. At this point, look at that. Our animation is done. Can you believe it's that easy? And because it's starting at the same position that it's ending, we have an infinite loop, and everything looks super smooth here. So we're gonna go ahead and export out an animated GIF that you could then send to your friends or include in a uh, email newsletter or put on your website. And we're gonna show you how to export out an MP4 uh, video as well. So we're gonna be exporting through Adobe Media Encoder, which is included in your Creative Cloud subscription as well. So let's go ahead and start. We wanna make sure we're selected on the right scene. Everything looks great. All right, we'll just make this a little bit smaller and I'll zoom out. So we're gonna go to Composition and we're gonna to go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. So let's go ahead and click there. Now everything that's in your timeline here is going to be rendered out and sent to Adobe Media Encoder. So here we are in Adobe Media Encoder. You can see it's pulled in our source graphics. Now here we can choose how we'd like to export this out. For videos, I would recommend H.264. This is an MP4 format that's already set up for internet streaming. So it's a really, really good format, H.264. Now for the preset, we're just gonna match the source because we already set up the size and everything like that in After Effects. And then you can just simply choose where you'd like to output this. In this case, I created a new folder called Renders. All right, now the cool thing here is in Adobe Media Encoder, right, I can right click on this and actually duplicate this. And then here, I'm gonna choose Animated GIF, okay? So we're gonna output this to the same exact place. And here in our animated GIF settings, we're just gonna lower down the quality a little bit and that's gonna help us save a little bit of file size because you wanna get those animated GIFs nice and small as far as file size is concerned. 
So here we have our settings and our quality. We're just going to take this down to 20% of the original, which is still going to look really good. It's just going to give us a smaller file size and we're going to hit OK. So from the same sequence here in Adobe Media Encoder, I'm going to be rendering out a H.264 MP4 video and an animated GIF. All I have to do is hit play and we're going to see uh, wow, hey, that really didn't take too long. It just rendered out both of them. So let's go ahead and take a look in Finder and view both of our final products. So here we are, we've got a new Finder window and you can see my animated GIF as a gradient. Let's just hit play. And here you can see this is a GIF. You can also, by the way, right click. I'm gonna just open with Google Chrome here. And this is going to allow me to see how this is actually going to look in an internet browser. And you can see it's fantastic. It's perfect quality. This is going to play as a GIF. It's got an infinite loop on there. And we've got an MP4 as well. Let's hit spacebar on that and we can see that's perfect. Now this doesn't loop, but you could include this in like an intro video or something like that and include this in a longer composition. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to click on that subscribe button so you get free tutorials every single week. And I would love to know, what did you think about learning After Effects? This is the first time that I've taught After Effects as a free tutorial here on YouTube. So let me know in the comments, do you guys want to learn more After Effects? Personally, I'm so excited about After Effects and I would love to share some knowledge with you. So let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks again. And if you want to get your skills and we're talking about like awesome Photoshop, After Effects, Lightroom, photography, like to the next level, check out Flurn Pro. It's available as a subscription. You get access to every tutorial we've ever made for one, uh, well, it's a subscription. So you just pay once a year and a boom, you got everything forever. Thank you so much. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.